Hi everyone, Aaron here for that snazzy iPhone guy, and today we're going to be reviewing the Wave Cradle. The Wave Cradle is a simple stand for your iPhone iPod Touch, and its main intention is to take the sound from your device, project it 90 degrees at you, and raise the volume by 8 decibels. And it does that as advertised. Let's first though talk about the design. The design's really nice, very simple. It is a single piece of metal here, a nice curved piece of metal, and held together with these spacer bolts that are really well finished, nice machining. On here we have rubber pieces that hold your iPhone so it doesn't touch the metal directly, and they're screwed in with uh, what looks to be Allen head fasteners. So really solid. I mean, there's not a whole lot to this to this stand, but it looks good. Now, I have to tell you, there have been quite a few people that compliment, or commented and then complimented what it looked like. I had some people over, and they actually asked what it was. They said, that's really neat or interesting looking. They commented, said they liked it, and once I explained what it was, they were like, oh, I would use that. And for someone like me that actually is somewhat of an audiophile, I don't want to say I'm, you know, consider myself some elite audiophile. However, I do like some very high quality music. I don't tend to use the speaker out of the bottom of this. However, I know an awful lot of people that use their cell phone speakers, including my own wife. She listens to this all day long, even in her pocket muffled. And when she saw this and I explained what it was, she thought it was quite nice. So what this does is you have a rubber back here, so you're not touching your glass to the metal. It sits on here like this, and it looks really nice. Uh, even if you don't like the, or aren't going to use the sound part and you want a nice looking stand, this is pretty nice. So, see, it's kind of stuck on there. Whatever's on the back here that grips the iPhone, it sticks. You can't really move it how much. It's kind of like a textured rubberized material that grips onto it. It's almost, it reminds me of the Palm Pre touchstone dock that kind of sticks to whatever with gecko feet or whatever. Anyway. It holds it nice, looks great. You could even charge through here if you wanted to. And then when you play music through it, it actually boosts the sound. It takes it, moves it 90 degrees, and boosts it by 8 decibels according to Wave Cradle. And it really does that. It sounds louder, it projects into the room better. And because this is a mono speaker output, it actually fills the room with... Well, it's mono, but it fills the room as though you had more power behind it. So it's... It actually works as advertised. Now this dock does cost $34.50, and I'm assuming that's because it's nicely made, it's well machined, there are not any burrs along the edges or anything like that, and it does a nice job uh, exactly like it's advertised. So you do have a rubberized foot on the bottom as well. There isn't really much more to say about it in that it looks nice, it works, a little bit pricey, but it's a nice design, and it's not any more than you'd expect to pay for anything uh, for your Apple and not even close to what this costs. So pretty nice and looks great on a desk if you if you need a dock or just want something to place your iPhone on that looks interesting or maybe even sparks a conversation. It's really, like I said, not much more to say about this, but it's nice and um, definitely worth checking out. If you have any questions, though, please feel free to ask down in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to that snazzy iPhone guy, uh, please go ahead and do that, and also, if you wouldn't mind, head over to Zolotech and subscribe to my channel as well. And uh, while you're at it, you might as well subscribe to Ricky's channel too. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, stay snazzy.